met Dan, um, he had a few journals of his journals sitting on the bookshelf. And I didn't, um, he didn't say, hey, check out my journals. But as I was kind of scanning his apartment, figuring out what this guy was all about, I saw one of these and I put, pulled it out, started flipping through it, and I was totally floored. He just he had pictures of uh, him with African pygmies, and he had pictures of his Land Rover with a buffalo skull on it and a human femur for the stick shift. And, and I thought, my God, man, this guy has got an adventurous life, and I want to figure out how and you know, how, how he got there. What's he doing? And, um, and he said, hey, man, if you want to draw something and add it to the journal, go for it. So I thought, wow. And I was, I was, I was actually an art student here in Santa Barbara. And, I, and it was the first time that any friend of mine had ever suggested we draw for fun. So I thought, this guy is cool from the beginning. There's so many people I've met in my life that are so big and amazing. He was just like the first one in my life that influenced me on the level of art because I never really brought my creativity forth. And what I realized, like, years later after being around Dan and being with him is that I was an artist and I didn't even know it. So I think what Dan did for me was make me open my eyes to something that was inside me already. His spirit, his adventurous spirit, um, and his ability to create um, an energetic environment, even when there's no stimuli from outside, he would generate this, these, uh, these experiences for people that he was part of and he was uh, he would invite people in and he was sharing this energy in a way that I'd never seen and I just was uh, amazed by him and uh, ever since Dan died I think about him all the time um, I'm a filmmaker now and uh, often Dan's words the quotes that he made up and the quotes that he resonated with that he um, put in his journal they come into my head frequently because they have to do with the way that I'm living right now people really just started you know, attaching themselves to him and really respected his view on things because they knew. Because all of us, when we moved to Nairobi, had such a fear, or at least a lot of us did, of, you know, what's out there. And then you had a guide like Dan who really influenced you and kind of, you know, played around with you and played jokes on you. But it was just like that group grew and grew, and then people wanted to be the muse, and then you didn't feel silly when you are dressed up, you know, it was like old colonials cruising through the bush or something like that, because it was cool. You know, I don't know if it was cool back in the States, but then it was cool, and that's what I think, you know, I don't know if there was like one person, I mean, I know that he loved the Explorers, you know, but he also loved Bono, you know, and he loved, like, good music, and he loved just... You know, quirky personalities. He loved John Wayne, and he loved you know all these different things. And he really loved his friends and his family. So it was kind of like, hey, let's go on this, have this big party together, and kind of go through life and see what it's about. You know, some people influence one's life with a specific act or through a specific deed. But the thing is, with Dan, it was a spirit in the way that he affected one's life. And you know, I mean, he traveled all over the world and had all kinds of friends and touched so many people in so many ways. And, you know, I think, especially because a lot of us, we all knew Dan when we were all young. We were all peers of his. And I think the thing that, that he, he inspired us when we knew him and he inspired us now that when we think about him is that you can do it. You can do it. And that's what's so exciting. It doesn't have to be about Africa. It doesn't have to be about humanitarian stuff. It doesn't have to be about art. And whatever you do, just do it and enjoy it and revel in it and share it and, uh, and do it again. And you never get too old, you never get too tired, you never get, you know, you never lose ideas about what there is to do out there. Just see something and do it. And, you know, maybe a million people might think that you're crazy, but all you need is a handful of people to agree with you and join you on the journey. And uh, it always just starts with one person.